continue. Today we are going to talk about Christian life. And uh, the first question, what do you think? Who is a Christian? Okay, a Christian is a person belonging to the religion based on the teachings of Jesus Christ. But what we believe is a fully committed believer who daily grows to be more and more like Jesus. And uh, the word of today comes from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15. And it says, For even if you have 10,000 guidance in your Christian life, will only have one father. For in your life, in communion with Christ Jesus, I have come your father by bringing the good news to you. And this good news is what, uh, is the Bible, which Jesus came to give us. And uh, as we have said, Christian life is a, is a belief, uh, Is a fully committed believer who daily grows to be more and more like Jesus. So, so the second verse is uh, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse twelve, and it says, "We beg you, our friends, our friends, to pay proper respect to those who work among you, who guide and instruct you in the Christian life." And uh, living by uh, living the Christian life, you need you need alertness, attentiveness, availability, cautiousness, compassion, contentment, courage, creativity, deceiveness, uh, difference. Uh, deep, uh, dependability, determination, diligence, discernment, discretion, endurance, enthusiasm, fa fairness, faith, flexibility, forgiveness, generosity, gentleness, gratefulness, hospitality, humility, initiative, joyfulness, love, loyalty, meekness, neatness, obedience, Patience, passiveness, punctuality, responsibility, uh, resourcefulness, reverence, security, self-control, which is the most important thing, Sensi sensitivity, sincerity, uh, thoroughness, thriftness, tolerance, truthfulness, virtue, wisdom. And now we go to the characteristics of a Christian believer. Number one, they're more than a conqueror. If you are close to God, God will never let you down. You'll be the, you'll be the head, not the tail, and you'll conquer all the temptations that uh, Satan may, uh, may come against you. You're successful in life. You'll never uh, suffer through poverty. You'll be rich, not only earthly, but spiritual. Uh, they are prayer warriors and some intercessors. And uh, that's true. As, uh, there are prayer warriors who pray against it, some intercessors who intervene in the prayer of the, of the, of the people who pray. And then they pray and fast often. This is not uh, a stage where many people can persevere, especially uh, in fasting. People say that fasting is uh, difficult. Then they secure the generational gates. The generational gates are the gates that, uh, that have the future. Even if you will not get it, but your, your descendants will receive it because of it. They have strong faith and patience in times of trouble. Oh, this is where people 
uh, get discouraged. They say, God does not hear me. I'm afraid I've done everything I've done. I could do and uh, nothing happened. But what does the Bible say? Have a strong faith in times of troubles in the book of uh, 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 Romans or Psalms. And then when you have faith, and faith goes with patience, Jesus will see the need of intervening in your problem. He'll never let you down as he has promised in our book. And because you have prayed, you have prayed non-stop without doubting God, that uh, uh, he will intervene in your problems. They build the spiritual foundation. Uh, when we, what do we mean by saying spiritual foundation? Spiritual foundation is where you start. Uh, it's like a building. It's like building a house. You start with the foundation, then it grows. Now we need to uh, dig the foundation. And when we dig it, we start growing it. How do we grow it? By reading the word of God, praying, fasting, and uh, uh, sharing the word of God. Hate earthly desires. This is where I've been now. Uh, I've been a little bit uh, down and many people think that ugly things is much better than spiritual things. I know spiritual things might be tough to get it, but when you have faith, as we have said, you will surely get it. When you persevere, you will surely get it. When you tell God, now I have decided to follow you, I have committed myself to you. God will remove and will make you hate earthly desires and you will start now a new beginning of having the spiritual currency or the spiritual desires and how do you know when you have the spiritual desires uh, you you will test yourself by reading the word and uh, when you have that desire, you say, what will happen next? What have you learned in the Bible? Like that. That's how you start building uh, your spiritual desire. And also, when you praise God, you, you praise it, you sing at the bottom of the heart. Just, you don't praise so that people may know that you're a Christian. And also, you go to church. And not only uh, for people to witness that you go to church. You go to church to feed your spiritual being, to feed your inner part. They think positive in everything they do. That is what many people don't know. They say this, I'll, I'll follow Jesus. And when times of temptations and trouble comes, they think negative. They say, Jesus has forgotten me. That is it. There is no way that I'm going to persevere or conquer the temptation. And so we should have a positive attitude on everything we do. And we will persevere, we will conquer it. And then they boast they have Jesus, not boast on earthly things. And that's what the Bible tells us. The Bible tells us to boast is not bad but it determines of what you boast, you boast for. Uh, the Bible tells us you only boast for Jesus, to give Jesus the praises, not boasting to give your praises, because without God, you're not there. So in the, uh, we should boast that you have Jesus. Say you have Jesus. He's powerful. He's smart than any other God I've ever met. And then they live by faith. When they live by faith, they don't doubt. They say, Jesus can do it. Jesus will help you. If you are, uh, if you are, have difficulties in financial, financial problems, say, God will provide. Because you are the provider. You are all in all. You are big. You are enormous. And you will give me what I desire. And so, 
I thank God for using my dad to help me know that a Christian needs not only living by by uh, saying I love God, I have faith to please pastors, but to live by faith. You spe uh, specifically tell yourself that Lord, from today, I'll live by faith. I'll live according to your will alone. Help me to have the strong faith that you want me to do. Lord, I surrender to you everything and you will take over control. So those are the Christian uh, steps or characteristics of a believer. And I believe that you will, you will have some time say to God, Lord, from today, I decided to live a Christian life. And Lord, that is say, Christian life, live it, live it. So we should live according to the Christian life, as we have said. And uh, by living it, we shall join uh, uh, God's disciples. And now I believe that with Jesus don't have uh, the 12 disciples. There are more in the world. We might not know. But now Jesus has gathered all their disciples. And we should do our best. We should try up and down to get into the, the space where Jesus wants you to do. And by living in a Christian life, God will, God, uh, will uh, attack Futulia the, the promises or the import, the, the, the reason why he uh, created you. And, and when he, Wakati attack Futulia and he rose on your bed, so he attack Futulia. Uh, top foundation will force training because you can't start any work without a training because God is our trainer. So He will train you, guide you until you accomplish the mission that God has extended you to do. So we should try. From today, I want you to have time with God and tell God, I'm sorry for, for the sins I've done. Lord, forgive me. Lord, I've decided from now to live a Christian life, to, uh, to be among your disciples, Lord. Help me to be a prayer warrior, a mighty prayer warrior. Help me, Lord, to live by faith, to have patience in you. So I wish you all the best. May God bless you. And uh, let me 